Hey there, Esra here with a new video about how to prepare your brand new painting brushes for their first painting session. So here I have my new set of Rosemary & Co brushes. I ordered my Andrew Tischler introductory set alongside with a couple of different Rosemary & Co ivory daggers and bristle brushes. As with any new brush, these brushes were also set in gum to protect them from any damaging effects that may occur during the shipping. And because of the material the brushes are covered with, it will be unpleasant to go straight ahead and paint with them. You may lose some bristles or some hair onto your canvas or your painting surface and that will probably frustrate you. So to prevent that, we'll go ahead and take a couple of steps to rinse our brushes off that gum. First we will need a cup filled with water. And as you can see the brush is really stiff but that will change soon. We take a brush and we dip it into the water. We make sure that we don't push too hard, we just pull the brush towards us. We never push the brush in the other direction. If you push the brush away from you too often, you'll get a splayed brush really quickly. And after we have dipped our brush into the water, we just check for some loose bristles that may come onto your canvas later on. So we try to pick them up just gently. Never pull on your bristles too hot. Eventually some glue is holding them in place so you don't want to be too harsh on them. Talking about glue, the water I had before in my cup was just too much. I don't want the wooden handle of my brush to be dipped into water that often. Once or twice, accidentally, just like I did before, is okay. But submerging the metal part and the wooden handle of your brush will eventually cause a metal part to come off the wooden handle and your brush will fall apart because the glue cannot hold on to the metal part anymore. So here I'm checking again for some loose hair because this is a bristled brush and bristled brushes tend to lose hair more than some synthetic ones. And as I'm drying the brush with some paper towel, I'm just squeezing very gently. I'm not pulling on the bristles. And after drying our brush, we just gently try to reshape our brush into its original shape. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.